Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage on this new year of 2025. And the first used oil filters I'm showing you for 2025 is a Fram, Baldwin, and a Mobile One. And I have information on these, so I only got three. I didn't get them all in. I guess people were kind of busy in the last couple of weeks, so you know. But I did get three. And, uh, well, we're going to cut them open. We're going to see how good they did. And hopefully they did okay. Nothing too strenuous on these, I think. They didn't go through a ton of mileage. Well, actually, uh, one did actually go over. Actually, the Fram <laughs> went 11,000 kilometers. Or 600, or 6,875 miles. But, uh, what one should I open up first? Hmm. Let's do the Fram. So, I'm going to get the Fram here cut open. And then I'm going to read you what I have here while I'm opening it on this one. Uh, this Fram is a PH4386. And it is out of a 2012 Toyota Corolla. So it's out of a 2012 Toyota Corolla, and it's, it's actually been drained really well, um, he told me. He drains his filter, so I think it's been drained good. There ain't been nothing coming out of it, so. Uh, Toyota Corolla 2012 with the 2.4 liter engine, and uh, it has... 228,500 kilometers. Whew, whew, whew. Got a little bit of mileage, not even close to the other ones. Uh, or that is 142,812 miles. So this one has 11,000 kilometers on this oil change. Uh, 6,875,000 miles. No, nope. 680, 6,875 miles. Uh, he says he uses Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic Oil, but this isn't from his last oil change. This is from one before. So he doesn't know if he was using Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic Oil 0W20 on this Toyota Corolla at that point. But he thinks he might have been. But we're going to take a good look at it. You see this one's got a rubber anti-drain bag valve. And you can see the nice golden color there. So it is synthetic oil. It always looks nice, bright, and colorful. Look how clean it looks in there. That's very nice. Uh, I do not have a flashlight on me. This thing went 11,000 11, kilometers. And he, he keeps this engine pretty clean. A little bit of gunk there at the at the end, but wow. Yeah, shows from the older Toyotas. Wow, they uh, do do their job. Take a look at it here. The uh, holy inside tube. That's a hair off of me from a cat. Uh, tell you, this does not look like it went 11,000 kilometers. But I'll just go by what he said. It's pretty heavy. It, it's pretty small enough. Um, yeah. It's it's pretty it's pretty hard in spots here. This fiber end. Oh, look at that! They got a uh, wow. This one's got a uh, metal clip. Well, let's cut her open. Get a good look at what he's got here. By the way, I'm doing this at the end of the day on this one here. Haven't had much time other than that. This one is pretty swollen, so it has been on there a bit. But, I forgot to look at it. Yeah, it looks pretty good, eh? Darn, forgetting things to do. I'm trying to get this done at the end of the day so I can have it out for you guys tomorrow, which will be today. So there we go. Tube is the usual tube. Uh, well, we got some sparkles in there. 
And you can probably see some sparkles. And some sparkles. What do you expect, though? It's pretty sparkly. It looks good. A little bit of crud in the creases, as you might see. A little bit of uh, carbon or crud. So, yeah, you could say this was in there for 11000 but you know what? <sighs> this filter looks like... Uh, did its job. Wow. Fram, uh, you're either really good or sometimes you you just, actually, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever opened up too many Frams that have been actually bad. Now, these ones, I was having difficult drain. This bulb one here. Now, this bulb, by the way, that Fram did look very good. I'm not going to mince words. That one looks pretty good. And uh, it looks like it did a great job. Just kind of shocked it has a uh, um, uh, rubber anti-drain back valve. And that's kind of getting me kind of like, eh, really? So, let's get this one open here. Baldwin! B35-S. Now this one... Comes from a 2005 GMC Jimmy with 4.3 liter V6. Now that is interesting. Uh, no news on what oil he used in this. I have no idea. He he uh, didn't tell me. So that uh, it's fine. This vehicle has 4,000, 400,000. 412,000, let's get that right, 412,000 uh, kilometers, 257, 500 miles, and he put, uh, let's see, 9,000 kilometers on this vehicle, on this Jimmy, uh, during this oil change, and that is 5,625 miles, so... Well, let's see how good this uh, one did. I'll tell you right now, it does not look like it's synthetic. It does not, it, but it's pretty clean. This doesn't have that golden tinge in it. Eh, maybe a little. Eh, it actually does have a golden tinge. Maybe you did use synthetic. He didn't tell me. So, up here a little. This is going to be messy. Eh, not that messy. Got a real spring in there. Real spring, really grimy down there with the uh, sludge. Not too terribly dirty, but very grimy. So I think Baldwin should uh, make some Baldwin filters with silicone anti-drain back valves. And uh, wow, they'd be a big seller, I gotta say. And this one has no bypass valve, so I don't know wipe it off in here well look at this one what's going on down there well, I don't know maybe nothing but uh, yeah um, but hey it doesn't look too bad so 9,000 kilometers on this and I don't know, it might have been synthetic, might have not been synthetic. I'm not sure. It's got a tinge to it, the golden tinge, which makes you think it had synthetic oil. I'm not sure about this one. He wasn't at liberty to tell me. So, um, here's where they're... Is that where they're put together? Yep, that is where they're put together. I said this one didn't drain as well. It came to me pretty full. And there we are with the Baldwin uh, lowered tube in it. But it's not a thick tube, as you see. It's a very slim tube, so you get lots of filtration in these Baldwin filters. Still one of my favorites. This actually... Looks pretty good. Wow. A little bit of crap here and there in it. But overall, 
No carbon-like stuff. We got a little bit of something there. Don't know what it is. Yes. But yeah, like I said, there's a little bit of stuff in it here and there. So it's not too bad. A few pieces of metal in it. So yeah, let's see. Baldwin filter did a great job. Did a great job, like I thought Baldwin would do, even if it's got a sludged up uh, O-ring or a spring there. So let us get to, uh, I don't know if this is the start of the show, but it weighs, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy, so I uh, can't wait to give her a, t a look here. And this is a mobile one. M1-108A. So, we've got a 108A M1. And this comes from a 2003 Honda Civic. Hard to turn that. Fingers are getting all greased up. Or oiled up. And a 2003 Honda Civic with a 2 liter engine. 278,800 kilometers. And that in miles is 174,250 miles. Now, uh, this one did 8,200 kilometers on this oil change. So, um, or 5,125. Wow, this one is really hard to get open. Wow, it, Oh, open up. Wow, it's making me breathe hard. Making me work. Oh, please, just open. Here, I'll come back when it is. Now, that wasn't fun. Man, this one was hard to open. I don't know why. It just was hard to open. I got a feeling this one did. Well, no, it says he used Castrol Syntex Synthetic Oil. So, oh, just come off, please. Man, this one had a hard, hard time. Didn't get a good cut through this one at all. Look at, look at that. That's terrible. I'm gonna cut myself, infect myself with something. Oh, brutal. But first, the only one today that has a silicone anti-drain back valve. Oh, see, I touched that already. Jammed it into my finger. All right, this doesn't look like synthetic oil, but hey, he says he uses Castrol Syntex Synthetic Oil. So well, I guess I gotta believe him. Yeah, maybe he does, maybe it's got a tinge to it. Uh, let me see, any drain bag valve, silicone. That's not too bad, I like silicone. And let's get this out of here. Oh my word, this thing is just built the inside yeah it's pretty sludgy it looks sludgy for only 8,200 kilometers hmm it doesn't look like synthetic oil at all no I'll take his word for it I'll tell you though it doesn't <laughs> uh let's see here There we go. Got that popped off. Let's take a look around here. Everything still looks good. Pretty, wow, it was really hard to drain this one. Just wouldn't drain it. Just didn't want to. I was doing all my tricks to it. A smaller tube so that's good not a thick tube like they use well, 
They've been using thicker tubes and some filters, but I just think they put them there to save on filtration. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that one later. But overall, wow, this thing is really still wet with oil. And I've been draining this for a day or two during the New Year's break. It just didn't want to drain this oil. Of course, it is cooler here in the garage, so maybe. But it is still above zero here in the garage. But it looks fine. Nothing truly wrong with it. I'll tell you right now, that is not Castrol Syntex synthetic oil there. That is a conventional oil for sure. There is no chance that is a... The other two, you could tell, were synthetic. This one, black gold. This is oil right from the ground. Nothing synthetic about it at all. I'll talk to him, and uh, I have his number. I'll phone him up and ask him just to make sure if it is Castrol. Maybe it was Castrol, you know, uh, non-synthetic oil he used. Maybe he's using synthetic oil now. I don't know. We'll see. I'll ask him. But there we go. We got all of these done. Well, there was only three. Still took me enough time to get them open. But um, this is the first one for 2025 for the used oils, oil filters. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. And please like it if you if you did. And uh, I'll bring you another one, a new filter on Monday. And yes, I think I've mentioned what it might have been in another video, but I'm going to not mention it now. So it'll be a surprise to you ones who don't know what it is. All right. Thanks for watching.